Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck and today we're going with a beautiful, easy, beginner-friendly install courtesy of Eunice. Now, they have some of the best hair on the market and today they set me up with this gorgeous lace frontal wig. It's a honey vibe and it goes so good with my complexion. You get the honey like brown, like the golden honey brown vibes and you also get the like the blonde highlight in it as well the combination is absolutely gorgeous and to set it off the hair is nice and wavy so we did do a baby hair free install which you guys know I like baby hair so I'm gonna add some baby hair later I did do some sideburns on the side just to marry like my brown sideburns so you can't see those but for the most part we're going with a no baby hair vibe and then I did a baby doll little vibe when I pinned it back so this install is going to be super beginner friendly of course there's a direct link to this wig in the description box as well as you guys know all the tea is there as well don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already now let's get into the tutorial okay babies today we are running it up with this beautiful 20 inch blonde ombre lace wig I cut a little bit off so we can see here's a look at the inside construction of the cap as you guys can see we're going lace frontal today I also wanted to show you guys what the back looks like the body wave is body waving on this one so you are going to see we are going to wear her in her natural state but first let's go ahead and perfect the hairline by bonding it down here is a look at what the hairline looks like this is an absolutely beautiful wig and it definitely is gorgeous against my complexion so you guys already know step one for me typically is just to cut the excess lace around the ears make sure you don't cut too much because you want to be able to cover and conceal your natural hair you don't want to see any black underneath i'm going in with the even in the color red i get this from amazon and r.i.p to this can i actually use every last bit of it in this tutorial and i'm literally going to run out at the end and you'll see so i just apply it a generous amount from ear to ear i apply my melt belt which i did apply upside down today on accident and i just let that air dry on its own while i work on the rest of the hair here i'm just perfecting the parting we did opt for a center part although this is a free part and you can definitely part like anywhere you want side part middle part curve part angle part whatever you choose and this is what it looks like once it's dry i did help it out a little bit by blow drying on a cool setting but it is definitely bonded down absolutely gorgeous we did go ahead and do that dynamic dual oil as well i was talking too much i forgot to tell you guys but but wax stick paired with the electric cock comb is exactly how we got that perfect parting and now we're going in and cutting off the excess lace again we want to make sure that we cover up that sideburn area we don't want any 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 natural hair color peeking through and again i'm just going to cut off the excess lace as close as i can feel free to go in and customize yours however you like if you want to add a lace tint beforehand or um, add baby hair or tweeze out the hairline it's all up to you i did go in a second time with that even just to make sure it's completely bonded down now it looks a little bit highlighted along the lace so we're going to go in with a lace tint for me typically i like to just use a foundation in a shade darker than my complexion today i tried to use one that was a little bit lighter and closer to my actual color and as you guys can see it just highlighted it even more so we're going to go back and fix that in just a few this was the moment when I realized I was completely out. Nothing was coming out. I think I got just enough to really just bond that sideburn down. But we did go in with a bond for like the third time in this video just to bond the sides down. And then we're going to just go ahead and make them sideburns. Even once the lace is bonded down, I like to use a little bit of something tacky. So I like to go in with the even, but there was no more left. So I did go in with that black got to be glue. And this is going to dry tacky and just help it to just number one, stay down. But it also helps to form that baby hair when we're not going wispy. And this is what the hair looks like at the very end. Okay, ladies, you guys already know one of my favorite times to do my hair is when I have things to do. So right now I am headed to gymnastics with the girls. Um, I always just feel good, especially like on the weekends, on Fridays, um, when my hair is done. It just makes me like when I'm done with school with the kids um, and then we go to gymnastics and then, um, you know, like after gymnastics, it just makes me like want to like go somewhere. Like let's go to the movies. Let's go out to eat. Let's do something i just feel better even if we stay home you know we don't do anything i just feel better when my hair is done i'm gonna set it off with the fenty concealer i feel like it's just like the lace um 
and the hair almost blends. So I do want to add a little bit of the fence, my favorite Fenty concealer. Okay, so you guys see I have to go, but I just wanted to show you guys the end result. Maybe later I'll come in and play with the ends, but I love a good wig where you can just focus on the install and the hairline, and you don't necessarily need to do much to the ends. Generally speaking, when I do these types of like wavy textures and I don't need to do anything to them, it's always like that first little piece like right here that may be like messed up or manipulated. But as far as the ends go, um, no work needed at all. And I wanted to be able to show you that. And then the hairline, I did go for a no baby hair look, although I did do sideburns. And with the sideburns, you can just take that foundation powder um, and add a little along as well. You can also like do some fun stuff like clip it up like this. This actually looks really good. I'm going to go ahead and pin it up just to give it a little bit of fun. And I'm going to just do a quick faux twist. And when I do hair pins, I like to do. Thank you. Put it on the counter for mommy so I can save it. I like to kind of cross them a little bit and then hold it so I can kind of fix the hair around it. That's super cute. Okay, so I love the twisties, but I do want to go in and just kind of switch it up a little bit. I definitely am giving so much forehead in this video and well I'm not mad at it. You guys know I like to know I like to do the no baby hair baby hair and it's where I just take a bunch of sparse pieces along the hairline. Not too many because you don't want it to be thick. You don't want it to actually swoop. You just want them to be so tiny and tiny and thin that they kind of just camouflage and conceal that line of demarcation that is your hairline, your wig line. Um, I like to just go ahead and just have something above that and you'll see here the proof is in the pudding. I'm just dabbing out the product because I hate it when it looks shiny but to me that looks so much better. And as far as the hair goes, I definitely like to wear it in its natural state. The body wave, definitely body waves with Eunice. They do a great job with the texture. So you really don't need anything at all. The paddle brush also came from Eunice. And as you guys can see, the hair is beautiful. I just went ahead and retinted the hairline so everything matched perfectly. So this is the finished look. And that kind of like avoided me having to fix that little part in the front and I love it like I love like to just switch it up so that even if it's like bust down middle part we give something a little bit different each time but this here is what I wanted the most like how beautiful is this packaging absolutely gorgeous nice sturdy box and it's beautiful how cute is that and then inside when you open it up these have become my favorite brushes. Like my mom used to call the and look how like it's like set in there. Like this is like a nice, like almost like soft velvet like packaging to like house it. How beautiful. And these have become one of my favorite brushes. You guys know I already like the Dimmon brush for like detangling, but I've found that like these big paddle brushes that my mom used to call roof brushes actually are amazing when it comes to doing um, brown girl hair. Because like when I do their hair, I don't sometimes want to use like a bore brush, but I want to like detangle, um, and I don't want to use a comb to get their ends. Those kind of brushes work really well. You guys can see the ends of the hair are nice and fluffy. I have been into my oil sheen lately, but because this hair is colored, I feel like when you do like brown and like light brown, honey brown, blonde tones, they tend to look really oily really quickly. So I prefer the hair to look kind of like fluffy because it's gonna collect oil and look oily really quickly, really easy. So this was the box. So in addition to that nice, beautiful paddle brush, we did get a wig band, AKA a melt belt that says Eunice, Eunice on it. And then they know these are my favorite wig caps. So they loaded me up. Here are two packs, you know, each pack comes with two in it. You guys seen the one I had on was a little bit raggedy. So they hooked me up, oh, not one, not two, but three. They know me so well. So I got those and then they also included the actual dust bag, which it wasn't in the dust bag, but they still gave it to me so that I could have it to be able to store my wig, especially for like travel. And then there's this nice little mesh bag and inside, guess what? 
not only did they give me those three, they gave me an extra. So I got eight wig caps. I think I am set and I can get rid of this one <laughs> raggedy one that I have on. And then also inside the bag, they do have their own lashes. Nice 3D mink, beautiful, gorgeous, full, thick lashes. And they just loaded me up with an extra wig band and then a kabuki brush. And you guys know I always give you guys a lot of this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Um, it is 4.05. I got 10 minutes to switch the girls into gymnastics gear and get their water cans and get out the door and put on some pants because I got on shorts. But yeah, go ahead and check the description box for lists, links, and details of everything we used to complete this look. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.